Hello, and welcome to the showdown of the two-on-one lights. We're going to be talking about the two major players in the photography marketplace that offer both a continuous and a flash option all in one light. These two lights are the Rotolite AOS 2 and the Stella Pro Reflex S. Before we get started, if you could do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up, share it with someone who could benefit from watching it, and drop a comment down below at some point during the video to let me know what you think, I'd really appreciate it. In the course of my 14 year career as a professional photographer, I've seen our industry go from old school flash to high speed sync, and now to LED flash with no recycle time. Until the last year or so, Rotolite was really the only player in the LED flash marketplace from a professional quality output standpoint. Rotolite came out with the AOS 2 and Neo 3 in October of 2022, and around the same time, a new player on the LED flash lighting marketplace emerged, the Stella Pro Reflex S. Following these releases, we found ourselves with some true competitors for the first time in the LED flash marketplace ever. So it only seemed fitting that a comparison video be done. I think it's safe to say that I've been shooting LED flash longer than pretty much anyone out there. And the work I've done with Rotolite over the last many years has given me the opportunity to be the first to test their new lights on pretty much everything they've released. So I truly know the Rotolite system. And for about the last month or so, I've had the opportunity to thoroughly test the Stella Pro Reflex S. So for this showdown, I'll be comparing the AOS 2 versus the Stella Pro Reflex S. These two lights are very similar in price and power output. While the Neo 3 in its own right is a great light, it's smaller, less expensive, and less powerful than these other two lights. So it doesn't really make sense to use it in this review. I hope it helps. Let's get to it. Let's start where it really matters the most, power. I tested both lights in the same location, same distance, and in continuous mode so there's no possibility of having a difference due to the editing or processing of an image. I used the white optic on the Stella because that represents the spread of light similarity that you would get out of the AOS 2 as well, which would be to cover the entire body. This is just straight video comparing the two. And it appears that the AOS 2 is a good amount brighter. So purely from a power output standpoint, the AOS 2 has the advantage. These were both shot at 4500 Kelvin, and the Rotolite appears to be a warmer light than the Stella as well. Flash. I've been singing the praises of LED flash for so many years with Rotolite because of its no recycle time benefits. This is me shooting a martial artist with the Rotolite hitting every single time. And here I am doing the exact same thing with the Stella Reflex S. Honestly, both lights perform very well as flash units. There's not a single misfire. That's why LED flash is the future. Both systems can use an Ellen Chrome transmitter to fire the lights, but Stella does have an advantage of offering a Godox option as well. Just fires. Pretty cool. That's something Rotolite really should look at doing. One advantage of the Rotolite series is it does offer an old fashioned PC sync port, so you can attach it to your camera and the light and fire it manually. As standalone flashes, both lights perform very well. The biggest differences are that with the AOS 2, you can also strobe and color RGB, and you can select your own custom white balance for your flash as well as your continuous light. You can't do that with Stella. That gives the AOS 2 the advantage as a flash. When it comes to mounting these lights, the options are quite different. The AOS 2 is significantly larger in total size than the Stella. To mount the AOS 2 on a light stand or C-stand, you can use a yoke that is made for the light. The AOS also has some standard screw mounts in the bottom of the light, so you can mount it directly to your tripod if you'd like to do so. To mount the Stella to a light stand or C-stand, you'll need a light stand mount adapter that you can purchase from Stella, which will attach to the bottom of the battery of the light. To mount it to a tripod, you can use a brass bolt to connect the two together. Also, when using the light stand mount, you have to put an additional screw between the light stand mount into the base of the light to be able to adhere it securely. This bottom part here, and uh, Stella's told me they're gonna fix this, but it, it's not snapping in. So this light stand thing here, is supposed to slide into their bottom, but you'll hear it doesn't snap. There's no snap to it. Over here is where you can put that screw in to attach the light stand adapter more securely to the bottom of the battery. So the Stella gets points for being lighter, for sure. 
but the light stand mount is a little more difficult to use than something like the yoke on the AOS 2. And the AOS does have the correct screw mounts on the bottom of the light to be able to attach directly to something like a quick release plate. So as such, the advantage goes to Rotolite. When it comes to build quality, Rotolite is made in the UK and Stella is made in the US. Both lights are very well made. They feel very solid. In my many years having shot Rotolite, I've dropped the lights a lot of times and they just keep working. I also had a drop with a Stella while I was using it and the result was the same. It handled it with no problem. They're honestly both really well made. Features. This is the area where the lights really differ a lot. While we've spoken about the similarities with LED flash and as a continuous light, there are some big differences between the two in many areas. The AOS 2 has a touch screen that enables the user to use the light with ease. You can change anything on the back of the light in mere seconds and jump back and forth between flash to continuous to white balance, RGB, and more. This is significantly faster than you can change the settings on the Stella. On top of that, the AOS 2 can change white balance and that carries over not only into your continuous work, but also into your flash. The AOS 2 also has RGB, which the Stella does not. So it means the sky's the limit. You don't need gels. You don't need any of that. You can just put any color you want on the back using the touchscreen and you are off to the races. Lastly, the Rotolite has a fully integrated app that puts the functionality of the touchscreen right in the palm of your hands. So when it comes to features and technology, the winner in a very big way is the Rotolite AOS 2. This is an area where Stella really needs to look at improving. Diffusion options. When it comes to modifying these lights, there are some similarities and also some big differences. Both lights have options for use with a Bones mount system, an umbrella, or a custom built modifier just for their respective brand. Make sure to check out my video reviews on these lights to see these in greater detail. Where they really differ is that Rotolite is a much softer light when using it just as a bare bulb option, simply because of the way it's made. The AOS 2 has tiny lights spread all over the face of the light while Stella has a more traditional strobe-like construction with a single light source. Stella, however, does have a set of optics that fit very quickly and easily over the head of the light that direct it very well. You can go from very wide to very direct in just a few seconds, depending on which optic you choose. In my experience, you can modify either light very well, very quickly, and get great results with both. Battery. You'll get about the same battery performance out of both lights around an hour or so at 100% power in continuous mode, and a much longer battery life when you use them solely as a flash. The AOS 2 battery is much larger than the Stella's and it's needed because it's a larger light. Battery performance is a tie. Overall recommendations. First off, I've had a lot of fun testing these lights and I've really enjoyed the experience of using them side by side to see what they both have to offer. They're both well-made lights that offer a glimpse into what the future of lighting will truly be, LED flash. Both lights deliver as promised in regards to a no recycle time flash. They have similar battery performance and both have some great options for modifying and diffusing the light. From a price perspective, the lights are around the same price once you add in what they need to be functional. The Stella has a lower starting price, but you really do need the use of those optics to make it a well-functioning system in my experience. Once you add in the price of the additional optics, it does come with one. It gets to just about the same price as the AOS 2. Where the real separation between these lights occurs is in the advanced technology, feature, and innovation of the Rotolite system. It kind of reminds me of my early days where Sony was so far ahead in the mirrorless game because they'd been doing it longer. Rotolite has just been at the LED flash video light combo longer than anyone, and it shows in their features and capabilities. So for that reason, I'd really recommend the Rotolite system over Stella, simply because it has so much more to offer us creatives out there. It provides more options to me, not only as a photographer, but also as a videographer. And as someone like myself who does videos as much as I do photography, that matters. The AOS 2 is an all-in-one light that can handle nearly all of my photo and video work, whereas the Stella would be more limited in that regard. So I hope this has helped. Again, a big thanks to the folks at Rotolite, Stella, and to my friends at the AVC Photo Store and School for sending me the light to do the review. I appreciate all of you, and I look forward to the future of LED lighting and flash 
as I believe it's the true path for the future of lighting in the photography industry. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find a work that works for you. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.